Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, August 20th, start of the eBay week for me. I still have that 50% off sale going and I had 10 orders last night. Let's get right to it. Starting off, we have a Major League Baseball 1839 to 1939 Double Day Field Commemorative Baseball in the little case here. It's not glass, it must be like plexi or something. Uh, so this ended up, this was on 50% off, this ended up selling for $8 plus shipping. And we have a, this is Star Trek, Sub Commander T-Pole Away Team, Art Asylum. This was also on 50% off promotion and is sold for $9 plus shipping. And we have a 118 scale American Muscle Ertl 1969 Camaro convertible in green. New in the box. This ended up selling. This was on 50% off too. This ended up selling for $19.99 plus shipping. Then we have a set of Disney Parks Mickey Authentic 3 Magnet set. Pretty sure I picked this up at some kind of flea market for like 50 cents. These ended up, these are 50% off and they sold for $7.49 plus shipping. And I paid 36 cents for the three of these. That's a set of three NSYNC CDs. These sold for $2.99 plus shipping. We have a vintage Hot Wheels Redline Mod Quad 1969. Uh, this was probably repainted. That's in the description. It's in the title too. 50% off. This sold for $15 plus shipping. These are cool. This is a set of Disney theme parks, Mickey and Minnie Mouse body parts, pants, ceramic coffee mugs. I got these last year at a yard sale. I think I, I can't remember what I paid. A couple of bucks for them probably. These are around 50% off and they sold for $11 plus shipping. We got a Star Wars Black Series. This is the Imperial Death Trooper, six inch, uh, number 25. This sold for $12.50 plus shipping. We got another Hot Wheels 1969 Red Baron Red Line, 50% off on this, and this sold for $10 plus shipping. And the last thing is this uh, vintage Lesney Matchbox number 34 Volkswagen Camper in the original box. This was from my stepfather. I believe this was on 50% off too, and this sold for $35 plus shipping. Okay, I'm going to get these wrapped up here and sent out, and then uh, not really sure what the plan is today or tomorrow. Um, I'm probably not going to, still not going to do any buying. Still got a pretty decent death pile in the store, the shipping container, so I may work on that a little. Um, we got some bad weather coming in here in New England coming up on Sunday, so I may spend the next couple of days just going around the yard and making sure there's nothing that can be blown all over the place. I'm, I'm hoping that they're wrong on this, but it looks like we might have a hurricane coming. So if anybody does order something this weekend, uh, there may be a chance it might not ship out right away on Monday. Just depends on how everything goes with power and all that. So, hey guys, it's Saturday, August 21st. I uh, normally don't do this on Saturday, but because as I mentioned, we got a pretty significant storm coming uh, tomorrow into Monday. I figured I'd grab my orders, get the, at least what I got since yesterday. I had 10, so I wanna get these out. Just in case there's no power on tomorrow or even Monday, I may go grab some orders tomorrow uh, and do those and yeah, at least get them boxed up. So let's start. So first up, we have uh, four Amy Grant CDs. Paid about 48 cents for these. These were on 50% off and these sold for $1.99 plus shipping. Then we have another John Carlson uh, Washington Capitals Funko Pop. I'm not sure why these have been selling this week. This one sold for $4.49 plus shipping. This was on 50% off. In this box, I'm not going to take it out, but it is a Trenton Thunder Derek Jeter bobblehead. You know, obviously when he was playing in the minors or maybe it was just a special night for him. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. We have a Star Wars Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi number 08 in the blue box. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. We have an Epiphone Mighty Pro Mini Amplifier Electric Guitar Portable Amp. Uh, this ended up, this is on 50% off and this sold for $12.50 plus shipping. We have McFarlane Toys uh, Dune Series 1 Paul Atreides. House of Trady 7 inch figure. This was on 50% off and this sold for $12.50 plus shipping. We have for the Wii, Nintendo Wii, Animal Crossing City Folk. This sold, this is 50% off too. It sold for $15 plus shipping. Another Wii game, this is 50% off. It's $15 plus shipping. This is Wario Land Shake It. Then we have a realistic plug and talk two station FM wireless intercom. I did test it, it does work. This was on 50% off and this sold for $17.49 plus shipping. And the last thing is this Fitz board game, Fill in the Spaces from Ravensburger. New, it's sealed. This is 50% off and this sold for $10 plus shipping. So like I said, I'm gonna get these packaged up off to the post office today. At least they'll be on their way. And if anything comes in between today and tomorrow morning, I'll probably grab those. At least get them boxed and we'll see what happens Monday morning. I'm praying that this storm kind of 
kind of turns different ways and we don't uh, get some craziness going on, but I'm uh, just trying to get prepared. I want to get people their orders, so I will see you soon. Hey, it's Monday, August 23rd. I ended up having 14 eBay orders from Saturday afternoon till now. Most of it was the 50% off, but there's still sales, still make a little bit of money. Let me show you what's sold. First up, we got a spatula, Chicago Bulls, all-in-one barbecue grilling spatula with bottle opener on the end. I don't know if you can see that, there it is. Paid 40 cents for this, it was on 50% off. This sold for $4.49 plus shipping. Then again, 50% off, we have Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Uh, this is complete untested. This sold for $10 plus shipping. Galoob Action Fleet Star Wars Ice Planet Hoth playset, new in box. This was actually 40% off, actually 50% off, and this sold for $40 plus shipping. Then we have this Black Onkyo TX910 Quartz Synthesized Tuner Amplifier. It's been tested uh, through the headphones actually, and 50% off, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Then we have a Star Wars The Force Awakens Guavian Enforcer figure, number 08, the Black Series new in box this sold for ten dollars plus shipping and then the third one in the last week we have a john carlson from the washington capitals funko pop number 60 and this sold for 449 plus shipping and then we have a texas instruments ti83 plus graphing calculator uh there's no slide cover but it it was tested it does work this sold for 17 for 17.99 sorry Plus shipping. We've got a vintage 1969 blue Boston Red Sox souvenir baseball plastic batting helmet. I got this a while ago. This is on 50% off. This sold for $7.49 plus shipping. And we have another Funko Pop, another NHL from the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk, number 62. This sold for $6.49 plus shipping. Then we have a Rawlings Adirondack Pro Ring Big Stick Wood Official Softball Bat. Model one, I think it's 181F. It's the act, yep, 181F. This is a 33 inch, and I, I wanna say it's a 30 ounce. So I'm not exactly sure on that. This was on 50% off. This sold for $10 plus shipping. Vintage Vancouver Grizzlies, new era 5950 hat from the 90s NBA, uh, size seven and a half. This sold for $10 plus shipping. We've got a McFarlane Dune Collector Build a Figure Lady Jessica, new unopened, $12.50 plus shipping. Another uh, Mario Kart for the Wii. This has no manual, it needs to be resurfaced. There's multiple scratches, that's in the title and the description. It sold for $15 plus shipping. And then the last thing is the Tony Hawk Shred Bundle for the Nintendo Wii, new in box, 50% off, and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So I actually think I'm going to get back to at least a couple of thrift stores today. I might go to Savers and a Goodwill because there's really nothing going on today. They're not working on the deck because of the rain, the weather that we just had. We got lucky with the hurricane. It wasn't a hurricane. It was barely a tropical storm. We're supposed to get a lot more rain tonight. They were supposed to come dig the holes uh, for the deck today, but because of the rain, you know, that's just all going to end up caving in. So they're going to come tomorrow. We got good weather coming for the next, the rest of the week. So I don't need to be concerned about that today. I don't have much else to do just because of the weather. So once I get these orders out, I am going to probably head to a couple of the thrift stores and see what I can find. Probably won't find much because they've been really bare lately, but we'll see what happens. And if I do buy anything, You'll see it. Tuesday, August 24th, 13 eBay orders. Let's get right to it. Got a busy few days ahead of me. Okay, we're starting with a pair of NFL Cincinnati Bengals slipper socks. No grip for men, size 10 to 13. Paid 40 cents for these. These sold for $4.99, free shipping. I don't think these are on 50% off. We got a Funko Pop from Duran Duran, Nick Rhodes, the keyboard player, number 129. This was on 50% off, it sold for $3.99 plus shipping. And we have a PC video game, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth. Uh, this does have the key code, which is on the back here. Um, from EA Games, this is untested. It was on 50% off, this sold for $17.49 plus shipping. And we have Hasbro Black Series, Star Wars, six inch, Toys R Us exclusive of Ray Jedi Training. This was on 50% off and it sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Another 50% off, this is a Major League Baseball officially licensed microfiber pouch cleaning cloth eyeglasses bag. Pittsburgh Pirates, this sold for $2.99 plus shipping. Okay, then in this box I have, uh, there's over 125 unused Knickerbocker bear coasters. Kind of look like this. They're all kind of coming out of the package now. They're old. I got this from my friend Barry a while ago, probably last year. These are on 50% off and they sold for $15 plus shipping. And 50% off, this is a Panasonic DVD 
recorder play a vcr copy vcr combo vhs combo no remote again 50 percent off this sold for 74.99 plus shipping and we sold another one of these mcfarland dune collector build a figure lady jessica new unopened 50% off this sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Also 50% off this is Star Trek Piece of Action Captain Kirk uh, Toy Fair exclusive Playmates figure. Uh, this is Kirk as a gangster from a piece of the action. And this sold for $9 plus shipping. I'm trying to hold this thing up here. So this is a Clock Exerciser 2000 Elite Platinum Leg Swing Massager EXC 2000. It does work. I tested it. 50% off. This sold for $35 plus shipping. And we have a Universal Solo tablet case stand. It fits iPad and Samsung tablets. Uh, fits all iPads. It says 9.7 inches and 10 and a half inch iPads and virtually all large Samsung tablets. This was 50% uh, off. This sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And then the last two went to the same buyer. The both McFarland Dune figures. We have the Lady Jessica and we have Stilgar. Combined these sold for $26 plus shipping. All right, gonna get these packaged up out the door. The guys are back here for the deck today after missing yesterday because of the rain. Probably gonna give them a hand if they need it. Other than that, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing today. So yesterday I did go to three, I went to two savers and a Goodwill. Really nothing, uh, I bought a baseball bat for five bucks that I'd probably get $30 out of. Uh, a pair of women's Brooks sneakers for five bucks. Probably get $30 out of that. A pair of men's, I think they were Skechers. I forgot the, what the model was. I think I paid 10 bucks for them, but I should be able to get 30, 35, 40 out of those. And I think that might've been, yeah, that was it. I mean, I went to three stores and they had nothing. Um, so I, it's been like that for the last couple of months. So I may have to um, start going to more yard sales uh, than I have been to try to get some more inventory. I need to, even though I want to get my death pile down, you know, as fast as I can, I do need to make sure that I have enough inventory moving forward, going into fourth quarter towards Christmas time, because that's when you get a lot of your bigger sales around that time, obviously. So I need to, um, I really need to start stocking up again. So all the, all the death pile is on like a few different shelves in the shipping container, which is full right now because of the hurricane or well, the non-hurricane that we had. I had to move a bunch of stuff in there and I still have everything in there, but I need to condense the, those shelves with the death pile, you know, cause some of them have empty spaces now that I, cause I've been working on it, condense that and then start filling that back up. So I'm not going to go to any stores today, but this weekend I may have to hit a few yard sales. I need to get to work. Hey, I almost forgot. Uh, so while I was packing up those 13 orders or 12 orders, whatever it was, I got another one in. Uh, I, I sold the last Orbi satellite. If you remember, I bought four satellites in a router, $70 each. They all sold. I had one left and that one sold for $240 plus shipping. I can't show you it because they've already sent it out. It's, uh, it's pretty late in the day now. I'm going to hit the pool. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, August 25th, nine eBay orders. Let's get right to it. First up, we've got a stack of five uh, Star Wars Black Series, Titanium Series. Uh, these are the ships. So you got First Order Star Destroyer, the A-Wing, and a few other ones, a TIE Fighter. But this is a lot of five. This is on 50% off and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And we have a Funko Pop. This is Marvel from Captain Marvel Talos. On number 431, this is on 50% off, it's sold for $349 plus shipping. We got a Hot Wheels Redline 1967 Green Silhouette. Uh, this was on 50% off and ended up selling for $15 plus shipping. And we have a bag, a lot of vintage beer and alcoholic drink coasters. There's over 60 in here. Uh, just all different brands from overseas, from the U.S., Got these from my friend Barry a while ago. These are on 50% off and these sold for $15 plus shipping. I got a couple of uh, pieces of stereo equipment. I'm not gonna lift them because the shoulder's a little sore today. Uh, first up, we have a vintage realistic STA 75 AM FM stereo receiver. This was part of that big electronics buy. I got $8 into it. It was on 50% off and it sold for $45 plus shipping. And then we have a vintage Sherwood S9180 CP stereo receiver. Uh, this was on 50% off and this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold another one of these Spec Presidio uh, for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus blue case in, in uh, teal. 50% off, this sold for $4.49 plus shipping. All right, so as I was in the middle of showing you what sold, we had another sale, so I'll show you that first. Another Funko Pop number 766 Ultraman Jack. No idea what that is. 
50% off this sofa, $3.99 plus shipping. Then we have a hull 12 inch oval platter on brown drip glazed hull pottery, uh, oven proof. This sofa, $14.99 plus shipping. And the last thing is a pair of these men tingly weather tough stretch rubber overshoes, size 2XL in black. This is on 50% off and these sold for $9 plus shipping. Anything else comes in, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm gonna get to work here, get outside, help those guys as I've been doing. It's gonna be 90 plus degrees today and it's gonna be pool time. So I'm gonna get to it. It's Thursday, August 26th, last day of the eBay week for me. End of the video. I do have some big news though, but I'm gonna show you I had, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders, but three were going to one person. Show you those first, and then I'm gonna show you what I did. All right, first up, Funko Pop. This is number 213. It's a Walgreens exclusive of Unmasked Gwenpool from Marvel. Never heard of it, but this is on 50% off and it sold for $5.49 plus shipping. Behind me on the table, you can't see, it's a Sony CDP CX225 CD changer. Holds 200 CDs. I uh, paid about eight bucks for this. This was on 50% off and this sold for $50 plus shipping. All right, in this box we have, I, the second one I've sold, the last one I have, Derek Jeter bobblehead when he was on the Trenton Thunder, minor league affiliate of the Yankees. In the box, this is on 50% off, I believe. And this was an offer for $13 plus shipping. All right, then we have uh, the same person bought these three McFarlane Toys Dune figures. You got Paul Atreides, uh, Lady Jessica, and Stilgar. And combined, these sold for $38.50 plus shipping. Uh, these are on 50% off as well. And then the last thing is for the Nintendo 64. This is untested. This is Glover. The game Glover, I picked this up at a yard sale for like a buck a while ago. And this sold for $10 plus shipping. Okay, guys, I'm back in the studio. So what I was referring to earlier is I made another gigantic buy today. That pile was still pretty big, but now's the time to start building up for fourth quarter. And now I don't have to buy anything for a little while. So I want to give a shout out to Sam Hill, a buddy of mine on Facebook. He's been reselling as well. I can't remember where you're from, Sam. I know you're probably going to watch this. He noticed we're part of a reseller group on Facebook and he noticed that a guy on there was in Rhode Island and he was getting out of the eBay business for health reasons and he wanted to offload all his stuff. So Sam sent me the info. I got in touch with the guy, went to his house this morning, ended up buying everything that he had pretty much. Got a decent deal. There's some stuff I'm going to have to donate. There's like, there's a bunch of shoes that just, I mean, I could take them to the flea market, but I'll probably just end up don donating. There's like women's shoes that are kind of scuffed up a little bit. There's other, there's Nikes that I can clean up and probably sell. Uh, but there's all kinds of stuff. There's toys, there's uh, plumbing tools, there's shelving brackets, um, there's a couple of chandeliers. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I picked up today. Um, I, I brought a few things here into the studio on the floor, mo uh, a couple of toys. And then we're gonna go out to the storage container, the shipping container, because I got a bunch of it outside the container. I gotta get that all in there, but the problem is, because of the non-hurricane we had last week, I had to move a bunch of the materials for the deck build that's going on, especially 80 pound bags of concrete into the shipping container so they wouldn't get wet. So I gotta kind of maneuver around that stuff. I'll show you, everything's a kind of a mess in there right now, but you'll get the idea. So let's get started on a few of the things that I got. So it's this stuff right here. So this, this is really old. This has gotta be from the 70s, I would think. This is a Montgomery Ward three appliances in one. Rotisserie broiler shish kebab maker, I guess. And the cool thing about this is never been used. I haven't looked it up yet, but I'm thinking maybe 30 bucks on that. I'm not gonna go through every little thing I got. So I got a, a few toys here. We got uh, Connects, Gravitrax, a couple of those still in the package, still uh, shrink wrapped. CSI uh, DNA game. I'm not sure what this is. Nitro Circus or Nero Circus. Never heard of it. A couple of Lion King um, microphone karaoke with light shows. Those probably 30 bucks each there. So one of the cool things was I noticed for these deck lights and as you know I've been saying I'm having a deck built so I'm actually gonna keep these and once I get my electrician over here I might have him mount these onto the deck once he runs some power to where I need it. This looks like old school stuff here, but it says it plugs into just a regular outlet. So I think these will look really cool on the deck. I'm gonna keep these as long as they work. All right, so we're walking to the container and here's the Jeep I've been talking about. It is a 2018 uh, Unlimited Sport. I think it's a Sport S JL version. And I've been doing some custom mods on it 
decal I put this on it has a hard top but I ended up buying a soft top and that was a real pain and you know what to install it didn't come with this gas cap on here so I put that on not very well it doesn't stand too well but it's it's not gonna come off I might actually glue this on here uh, I put these black hinge covers because when you take the doors off and you want to put them back on the uh, the bolt kind of could ding up the paint job so I did that on the inside I know that we're making this a Jeep video got a nice new handlebar I put a cover on a case on the handlebars here this thing is pretty cool it's mounted into the dash so I can put my phone I can have your passenger have their phone and all that stuff what else did I do in here so up here this is actually a sunshade and on the top it has the American flag in black and white uh, pretty cool stuff is really customizable really nice uh, the next thing I have coming I got a black decal going on here hopefully to be here by next week and get that put on but I'm really happy with this I love driving this Jeep and I'm just looking forward to making more mods to it I might get uh, a decal that says Wrangler and put that there with black decal with white outline Still deciding on that, but that's the Jeep. Let's get to the stuff you guys are watching. So all this stuff right here was part of the buy. Um, you got a whole bin of, like I said, women's shoes and Nike cleats. And I don't even know what's on the bottom of this thing. Get some old American tourist, old style, old style luggage here. Got all stuff like this. There's like bathroom stuff. Here's the uh, chandeliers. There's even a lacrosse thing. More shoes. There's Nike sneakers. Uh, that bag has got plumbing supplies in it. You got more women's boots. You got parts for a looks like a Navigator swivel. I'm not sure of the brand. But I can sell the parts. There's all plumbing supplies in these. These are ceramic belts. I can just these things will probably sell for like six bucks each, or maybe seven or maybe eight bucks free shipping. I got a whole box of them here. You got all kinds of brackets for shelving. There's more you know, plumbing supplies down there. A lot of the plumbing stuff I can probably uh, do uh, the flea market and make a good amount of money on that. This whole bin is full, so there's we got some Hot Wheels stuff. Nothing major, but it all adds up. Um, baby shoes. There's more Nike sneakers here. These are hook and loop sanding sheets. Probably sell these for like five bucks each. Our accessories, a couple of thermostats. Uh, let's move along. Yeah, it's very, you got all that concrete here. It's very uh, jammed in here right now. This is all stuff for the the uh, the railing on the deck. This is all deck stuff. These are on my sneak deal. All this stuff is already listed. And we got a walking, talking musical clown here. I know this is a soldering gun kit. This guy has some different Hot Wheels in it. What else? There's an old Polaroid down there as we move along. This, I was told, that I'm not going to pull it out because I have an avalanche here, but this is an old Japanese um, stuffed animal from, I don't know, a Japanese cartoon or something that the guy told me I could probably get anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks for that. You got a nursery, um, some bedding here, swivel, and I bet you haven't seen one of these phones in a long time. Looks like I saved by the bell, Zach Morris. We've got a whole bin of uh, these tap handles for different kinds of beers, like Guinness, Heineken. I'm thinking these might sell like 10 bucks each, maybe. This looks like an underwater camera. And this whole thing is full of that stuff. So as we move down, we've got uh, some kind of brownie, brownie cutter. Maybe I'll give that to my daughter. Some kind of Jurassic Park dinosaur. So this, what I did was I condensed my death pile down this way. So all this stuff here is all the new stuff I picked up today. There's toys. Uh, these are inline skating pads with the whole system. Call this rechargeable vacuum cleaner. This, I'm not sure what that is yet. I haven't opened it. We got a cool uh, Nerf giant uh, bow and arrow for a girl. Behind here, there's Pirates of the Caribbean. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Like, there wasn't... It wasn't one type of um, merchandise. It was all different. There was there was games. There was uh, toys. There was clothes. Speaking of clothes, if I can find it, yeah, there's a box. This whole box is full of his jeans and all kinds. I gotta go through that. 
Uh, what else? What else? The stuff on the bottom, they can't really see. All this stuff was part of it. All this stuff was part of it. There's, <laughs> there's uh, women's stuff here, too. Look at the little cooling towels. Like, there's a lot of like smalls in here, but with Christmas coming up very soon, this stuff will probably sell if I price it right. I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, no more phone cases. I still got a bunch left, but they have been selling. We got a box here of all mini, the world's smallest Lincoln logs. This actually was selling for like 10 bucks when I looked it up. Pizza cutters. Uh, you got a phone holder for your car and there's all types of games in here too electronic baseball probably get I don't know maybe six seven bucks out of that and you got another box down here as well of just all it's all different stuff what is this look at that a poop poop now I've seen it all I've never seen that before teaser game I got a toilet golfers in there so yeah I'm gonna I got a, a lot of work to do yeah I am sweating it's uh, 95 degrees out and in this container it is probably about 105 at least I have the fan running but it's now it's being blocked because I have too much stuff oh also I got a Patriots jersey Troy Brown for a little kid then we have these I don't know what these are I gotta look them up and see if these are actually anything so this one here is a Holland Globetrotters jersey, 1920 number 36. And these other two say, so this says Thompson on the back, number 33, but it says unique all-stars. So we'll find out what that stuff is and I'll report back. All right, I'm back in the studio. It was way too hot out there. It's nice, I got AC running in here. Uh, but that's basically it. So I paid $1,200 for everything. And I think I'm gonna at least double my money once everything sells. And what's cool is the guy, uh, Robert, if you, I don't think he knows about my channel, but if you're watching, thank you. Great meeting you. And uh, if he has other stuff, he said he's going to hit me up first. But so, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything. Uh, I got to go through all these boxes and bins and see what, like there might be some really cool stuff on the bottom of some of this stuff that I have not even seen yet. So, like I said, I'm probably going to be able to double my money on this once it's all, once we get closer to Christmas, I think a lot of the stuff is going to sell. And uh, I got a lot of work ahead of me, but right now... I just want this deck to get done. The guys are out there. They're pouring the cement today for the uh, the posts, you know, to hold the whole deck up. They're doing that today, and that's going to dry. And then hopefully by tomorrow, they're going to be hooking those posts up and uh, then laying the floorboards down and then do the railing. And we were supposed to be doing a lower deck too, but we found out that because of the height of the sliding doors we're putting into the ground, the subfloor was too close to the ground. So we can't do a deck down there. So we're gonna, they got a cement guy coming out on Saturday. We're gonna do a nice patio instead. It's gonna look really cool, but I just wanna get it done. But that is the end of this week's video. I know I'm rambling. Uh, thanks for checking out my Jeep. Thanks for hanging with me through the video and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, pass this on to your friends and all that and buy some stuff. 50% off sale still going on. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.